All right, what's up, guys? This is John Snow. We got Nick here, up, and uh, we've got uh, Logan in the back. We're gonna be doing some emergency procedures today, so we're super excited to show you guys. We're happy you guys are on the flight. Now, here at SUU, we never expect an emergency to happen. Uh, we don't, we don't uh, want something like that to happen to us, but we always want to be prepared for it. So that's how we train for it every day. So let's go ahead and uh, get going. There's 1,300 feet, 50 right. knots. Go for it. Okay, nice gentle on that, on that pitch up. Bring that forward pressure. Yeah, there you go. Bring that forward pressure a little bit more. We want to pitch for 81. Now, when we're simulating these, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll give you instructions. You just fly just like you would fly normally, right? How you've okay. been practicing. And there's the sun. Cedar City traffic helicopter, 7 Lima, November. All right, you guys, helicopter. this is the best part about flying in Cedar oh, City. Peter. Are these sunrises, if you ask me. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and do a simulated engine Peter failure now. November, and we're going to go ahead and Delta, walk through it. Delta so intersection. as far Peter. as the engine failure, now we're above 2,000 feet AGL right now. So we've got plenty of time to work the problem if we did have it. But there's one, there's a simple way to go about this, and it's the ABCs. We've got, we're going to have a lot going on when we have an engine failure. So we're going to walk through the ABCs of the engine failure. Now, the first thing we do right when we have an engine failure, say we've got one. Okay. We're going to go and pitch for our best glide speed. So our best glide speed in the Cirrus at max gross weight is about 100 knots, all right? So go ahead and pitch for that 100 knots. We're going to be able to glide the furthest distance. Second thing we want to do is look for the best place to land, all right? So as far as best place to land, we got a couple places around here. We got a couple dirt roads that don't have any power lines on them. But we don't want to always bank on the road, okay? We always want to. Uh, look for other spots there's a better place if we can take if we can go all the way to a airport and that's the best right now we're not going to make an airport we're just going to have to do off field so let's go and pitch for some of these fields out here okay um now obviously we don't want to pitch or go right towards the city we don't want to hit any buildings but we all also don't want to get so far away from everybody that we're that we're uh, totally alone nobody's going to find us out there so we'll make sure to pitch towards some, some of these fields out here all right, now that was the best place to land. C is going to be checklist. Go ahead and grab that checklist, the emergency failure or the engine failure checklist there. Engine failure above 2,000 feet AGL. Okay, so as far as now above 2,000 feet AGL, we've got time to work the problem. So we can go ahead and start the uh, restart procedure for the Sirius. Okay. All right. So after starting the, the restart, two, restart procedure, we'll go ahead and move into the Delta, secure checklist. Uh, secure that engine if we can't get it restarted and prepare for an off-field landing. All right. Now D is declared emergency. So we're going to go ahead and get on the radio, and make sure people know where we're at. We're going to get on T-Bird traffic and say, hey, T-Bird traffic, we're over these three crop circles here in the WECO practice area. We're going down. We're going to make an off-field landing. Someone come help us, find us. We'll get on with air traffic control. We can contact them on 121.5. That's kind of the emergency frequency people monitor. They'll be able to help us out. Now, last thing we want to do is talk to our passengers. We've got to talk about that evacuation plan. Let's go ahead and turn towards here. Stay on our best, best place to land. It's best if we're landing into the wind, right? Just like if we were landing on actual runway. So with a headwind, we're, it's going to be a little easier. We'll land out on these fields out here. All right. Uh, so evacuation plan. So remember to tell your passengers if they've never flown before. Hey, do you remember the uh, the procedure as far as taking off your seatbelt, opening the door? Do you remember we've got a hammer here? We got a fire extinguisher here. Let's exit upwind from the aircraft when we when we get down and uh, brace for impact, something like that. Worst case scenario, right? Clear traffic. Cyber eighteen. All right, guys. Right so talking about the cap system. Uh, the CAPS stands for Cirrus Airframe Parachute System. So this thing is built with a parachute. It's one of the best parts about coming here to SUU is you get to fly an aircraft. 
that was literally built around having a parachute for safety. So um, with these emergency procedures, with these engine failures, you know, if one did happen, we still always have that option. All right, as long as we're pulling the parachute system uh, within the limitations of the aircraft, uh, we're totally going to be safe when we do it. Uh, it's not something we're going to actually do, but it's something we'll simulate. Your traffic under six taxi, Charlie Alpha Alpha One. All right. From we just lost the engine. Okay, so what ABC. Do do? So we're going to be checking our so airspeed, make sure we're shooting for our best uh, flight slope, for altitude. We're going to pitch for 100 right now. All right. B is we're going to be out here looking for a, a place we can safely land. We have some areas out here that we can look at. Uh, so you got some high terrain over here, though. This is a lot higher than yeah, splits so over here. We're going to bank over here to the left a little bit, keeping cool. our 100 knots. So go ahead and pick for that. That's a nice field out there, nice flat field. Yep, that's where I'm headed. Nice for one of those. Nice slow turn, so we're not bleeding off too much airspeed with our uh, our load factor. Okay, let's keep uh, keep going with that checklist. Okay, and then D, we got to determine if we have a safe landing. I'm going to be looking for 600 feet. That's going to be our minimum altitude to pull caps. Okay, so right now we've we've dropped now below 2,000 feet AGL. So if at any time now you can continue the landing if you can guarantee it's safe, right? So right now, right, I, right now I can guarantee a safe landing okay. straight ahead of us. All right. So, but if it were in this terrain right here, then I'd be pulling caps. Okay. It's a little bit flatter over here on this uh, this one. Cool. And then just normal landing. Um, use flaps if he, if you need to. Once you start getting lower to the ground to make your landing point, if you need to, throw flaps in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and end the simulation. Nice and gentle on that throttle. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. I'm John Snow with Nick uh, for our emergency procedures training today. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you liked what you saw. Uh, we'll be up in the next couple weeks, so tune in later on, and we'll see you guys later.